Teachers of Reddit, what's your most NSFW story from your workplace? In high school. We had a beloved teacher and I am still friends with him to this day. However. He viewed taking attendance as a big waste of time, and his class was enjoyable. So kids rarely skipped it. So he'd just give the class a once over and try to notice if anyone was missing. And sometimes kids would yell out that a kid was sick. Well. On this particular day. He marked everyone as present. Including a kid that was not in class. As he was busy murdering his uncle. So the teacher had to go to court and say on the record that no. He is not providing an alibi for the student. He's just terrible at attendance. The administration really got on his ass about attendance after that. And he was good about it. For a few years. And then he went back to his old ways. Saying it's very unlikely I'll have another murder during my class. A girl posted videos to Vine of her penetrating herself with a banana and a hairbrush. Kids quickly found out it was her and almost every campus around knew about it. She was deemed banana girl. And she graduated early to avoid bullying. Sad part is. She actually died in a car crash a few years later. I subbed at a school once where we had a special ed kid who would. Not. Stop. Pooping in the stairwell. They had teachers escorting him from one class to another. He was theoretically supervised at all times. And yet every week or two he managed to slip away long enough to drop a deuce in the stairwell. I still pity that poor janitor. My friend's teaching mentor was insane. She told crazy sx stories to him and a bunch of interns. Sent pictures of men in genital cuffs to co-workers. All kinds of bizarre stuff for any workplace but definitely for someone who teaches 11 year olds. I am a 7th 9th grade teacher. I'm only in my first year. Apparently an 8th grade student, 14 years old, was getting colder and other students were saying she was sleeping with 4 guys every week. She then stood up in my class. Turned to the people harassing her. And yelled. I've only had 2 guys this year. So shut up. Being a large man in his early 20s. I completely ignored the situation and just asked everyone to quiet down and get to work. I have too many. The one that sticks out the most is the time my teaching partner and I were working after school. He went down to hall to use the bathroom and saw a line of high school boys coming from out of the girls bathroom. He taps one on the shoulder and asks what's going on here? Lo and behold. An honor student was in the girls handicapped stall letting the boys basketball team run train on her to get them pumped up for the state playoffs. Of course she was expelled. But was allowed to walk for graduation in May. Some people let their freak flags fly. This chick was six freak flags over Texas. Caught two students having sx on top of a slide on the playground after school. It was one of these slides with the covered waiting area at the top. Her face was sticking out of the front of it and his ass and feet were sticking out of the back. She saw us, another teacher and I, first and started screaming that she was stuck on the slide. He freaked out. Banged his head on the inside and essentially tumbled back down the steps while trying to get his pants up. They were 5th graders BTW. A teacher at my school ran a drama club after school. She had a box of costumes. In that box of costumes was one of the teacher's thongs. A student picked it up and put it on their head and asked is this some sort of bandana? She shrieked. Grabbed it. And said yep. And cancelled the rest of the day's club. School maintenance here. Two come to mind. At one middle school a boy came running into the office to tell everyone that he saw two people in a stall together in the bathroom and that a girl had been blowing a guy and that the guy had a huge dick. But I can't remember what word he said. He didn't use the word dick. At another middle school a teacher who had a bad case of the flu lost control of her bowels in front of her class. She must have been aware it was coming because the diarrhea started in the middle of the room and there was a huge trail of it from the middle of the room to the hall. We have custodians but another maint guy and I were close by so we cleaned it up. I felt bad for her. She went home but was back a few days later and stayed for the rest of the school year. I'm sure there are more stories. Been doing this for 20 years now. 
had an autistic kid in our class, two teachers, myself included, who wasn't potty trained despite it being in a class level where he should have been. Yes himself. The other teacher is like TNT. Go get him changed and I'll keep the kids busy. I take him to the bathroom. And go to grab his backup pants. The other teacher shrieks because one of the other students is pelting toys at her. I go to take care of that mess. Takes me all of 30 seconds. I come back to the autistic boy and he has stripped himself and smeared his all over the walls. Toilet. Sink. Himself. It's a tornado. I almost quit that day. There's a couple. The biggest one was my mentor was caught sharing genital pics with a student that he found on a gay website. Yes. He was married and just like that I was on my own. The one that caught me off guard was I had a student from a foreign Asian country and she came up to me after class one day asking questions about science. These questions quickly transitioned into a weird place when she started asking me out saying things like I don't mind having an older boyfriend. Bear in mind her English wasn't the best. I quickly guided her out of the classroom from then on. Got asked what a tit wank was from a tiny nerdy 11 year old boy whilst trying to teach him about safety on the internet. I told him it wasn't part of the syllabus and that it wasn't suitable to ask me. Colon. I've told this story several times. But here goes. I was an occasional substitute teacher in the town where I went to college. The band director often requested me to come teach if she was out sick. Since I was a music major and could work with the kids on their parts. Get in for a day. And my instructions were to break the kids up by section and have them practice their parts. I spent the next hour listening to a miasma of sounds from woodwinds. Brass. Strings. ETC but no drumming. If you don't know any drummers. They're always playing or banging on their laps. Tables. Steering wheels etc. Curious me goes to investigate the drum room. And I walked in on the token female drummer flashing her breasts to the boys in exchange for money. Another couple minutes. There probably would have been some banging. Was volunteering in a kindergarten classroom. Was going through some old papers and found a letter from one of the mothers to the teachers explaining a bathroom incident. It went something like this. Kinshiro was in the bathroom stall peeing in the toilet when another student climbed under the stall. Kinshiro got very nervous at the sight of the boy and lost control of his pee. He peed on the student's face because he was very scared. Please do not punish Kinshiro. I will take this a different direction. My first week of teaching had its ups and downs. I was teaching a pay class and had a new kindergarten class for the first time. A few minutes into class. A little five-year-old boy raises his hand. MR. Cow tipper. I have a problem. My pee pee is really hard right now and I don't know what to do. Holding in every ounce of laughter I had. I told him I was sorry and that we would talk about his problem in a few minutes. Not long after he raises his hand again. Yes. Caleb. Don't worry. It's not a problem anymore. Comma. He tells me with the biggest smile on his face. Go to love teaching elementary. Being a middle school teacher is never boring lol. What was it? A goddamn tuna? Had a student run up to me and say that someone had been stabbed in the girls room. Turns out that a 5th grader had started their period. She later got the talk when she got home. I'm a paramedic not a teacher. But we ran a call at a high school one day for a girl that was feeling sick. After questioning her for a while trying find out what was going on things just weren't making sense. We get her in the back of the ambulance away from parent and teachers and she finally opens up. Apparently she recently started giving her BF oral SX and he wanted to finish in her mouth. But semen really grossed her out. Suru in order to get over her phobia the BF thought a little exposure therapy would do the trick. He provided her with a ziplock bag full of semen so she could ingest it all throughout the day. She only made it to about 10am before becoming violently ill. Poor girl. I felt so bad. What the? My mom is a preschool teacher and here's the best story I heard so far. There was this kid who bit everything. He chewed on toys. 
Paul's teachers and of course other preschoolers. So one time a kid comes out of the bathroom that is in one corner of the class and his pants are down and of course his willy is hanging. The second my mom notices the biting kid does too. But he's in the opposite corner of the class. He starts sprinting towards the boy and my mom does the same but she being in her 50s is slower, but closer to the naked kid. She gets there just barely to grab the kid who's just standing there and takes him off the trajectory the biting kid is on with his mouth open and charging like a torpedo. If she didn't get there faster the kid would probably be scarred for life. That living torpedo is probably around 10 right now and I heard his normal now. Not sure if this counts since I was just a volunteer teacher for the kindergarten section for Sunday school. This 5 year old dropped his pants took off his tie diaper and gave it to me. I didn't realize it's possible for a 5 year old to still not be potty trained. My brother and his ex, before they split, went potty training their kid. He said the child would do it herself when the time was right for her. Semicolon. It was only when the preschool said they wouldn't take the child unless she could use a toilet the mother changed her mind. I walked out of class during a prep period to go upstairs to talk with another teacher. In the stairwell there was a female student blowing a male student. The worst thing was she didn't stop even after I yelled. Many things have happened at my school. But this is the only one I have personally witnessed. It's like they say. If someone walks in on you giving a blowjob and you stop. You are the weird one who was caught sucking dick. If someone walks in on you and you don't stop giving a BJ. They are the weird one for watching. Home ec teacher asked a pregnant girl if she could get the placenta from her to eat. And that's about it I think. My teachers weren't too wild by any means I just don't wanna let this thread sink too far. Lol not gonna believe this after this kinda blew up on me I only just now remembered that the teacher that taught the problem kids, or slower kids, comma stole pyrenography from one of them and apparently just had a bunch in his desk that I'd hear about every so often. That's more in line with the post. Sorry. Tacked it on here though don't wanna post again for this. This girl took pictures of her dog eating peanut butter off of her vagina and then sent it to her boyfriend. He proceeded to share it with the whole school and then the teachers found out. Edit. Username is from my grandmother commenting on a picture of me making an odd face with WTF Christine. She thought WTF was short for why the face. Student taught at a high school in a more rural area of Georgia. Had a freshman end up in a wheelchair for a while after trying to have sex with a horse donkey mule. Conflicting stories. He ended up in psychiatric care by the end of the year because he was writing letters to some of the girls detailing horrific s or acts he wanted to do with to them. At the second place I student taught at. I asked the class if they had any questions after going over the requirements for an assignment. I had a girl raise her hand and after I called in her. She proceeded to ask me if it was possible to fill a condom with and then use it to go myself. She was immediately sent to the office and was removed from that classroom. That's a pretty creative insult. Edit. I know what an Alaskan pipeline is. It's just I've never heard anyone use it as an insult before. Not me but the woman who taught across the hall from me. She was teaching a 9th grade math class and her classroom had those old fashioned pencil sharpeners that attached to the wall and you turn the lever to sharpen your pencil. One of her students was sharpening her pencil every day during class and seemed to take a long time to do so because each time she would stand at the back of class sharpening her pencil for 2 minutes or so. After a week or so of this the teacher went to ask if the student needed help sharpening her pencil. Turns out the girl was putting her bag up against the pencil sharpener and was using the vibrations to get off in the middle of math class. A buddy of mine is a teacher in Kentucky and tells this story proudly. A couple of years ago the senior class was doing their walkthrough for graduation. Usually after the walkthrough the seniors are allowed to go home early. Well a guy and a gal decided to skip the walkthrough so that they could go out to their car and. Presumably while in the back seat. They decided to do an L and it led to the girl ting all over the guy's car. By the time the walkthrough had finished the seniors were headed out to their cars and the entire graduating class walked out to the guy and gal trying to hurriedly get dressed and clean up from the back of the car. 
My friend often jokes about what a tie situation that was. A friend, B, was eyeing with friend A and found his dick pic on his phone, was actually looking for his GFS nudes, and to with him he set the pic as his lock screen. Fast forward 5 minutes and the teacher walks in and takes the phone because she had a strict no phone policy. Another 10 to 15 minutes later the teacher asks what time the class ends and had friend A's phone on her desk and decided to check the time on that instead of the clock right behind her. Setting your dick pic as the lock screen is a real power move. More tragic than NSFW. An 8 year old girl called me to one side in a gym class and told me that another boy had just held her down and touched her privates. Errands called. Police etc. Awful stuff. Not my story but I went to school with the poor bastard. When I was a junior in high school there was a kid who got left in the hallway either mid blow job or halfway through SX by his girlfriend because he started having a seizure. She didn't go for help she just ran away so a lot of people at my school found him with his pants down his dick out seizing on the ground. A lot of people I went to school didn't even think there was a girl there they thought he was masturbating in the hallway and had a seizure. A year or two after I graduated one of the female gym teachers got fired for having asshole relations with some of the girls on the field hockey team. A second female gym teacher got fired and sent to prison for trying to cover it up. Subbed at a school years ago. A teacher broke up with a student he'd been statutory upping. She got upset with him and told people they'd been having sx with each other. Then another girl revealed that she'd been having sx with him too. Then a girl who'd graduated the year before said they'd been together as well. And then another. From even earlier. It turned out this teacher. Who was coach for one of the girls sports teams. Had been using that team as his own personal harem for over a decade. Finding. Grooming and seducing at least a dozen high school girls. The school district paid an unspecified amount of money to a lot of people to have him quietly resign and leave town. Edit. It's depressing how many people read this and ask if I taught at their high school. Because something just like this happened there. This incident was almost 30 years ago in the US Northeast. Colon. Had a kid in second grade caught fingering a second grade girl in the phys ed locker room after school. Apparently they were both from abusive families and they were victims of SL abuse by their dads. Not the same dad obviously. That's the ed up part. Both their dads were SL abusing those kids and they coped by trying SL stuff on each other at the age of 8. This kinda isn't my story. But it's still good and NSFW. One time a kid was doing his visiting days at the school, we were a private school with kind of a history of admitting misfits, and during art class was seen by another kid masturbating under the table to completion. Then wiping his ejaculate on his t-shirt. When the head of the middle school told his mom about it afterwards. She said oh yeah. That's something he does when he's nervous. Needless to say it was a hard pass from the admissions office. I walked in on the gym teacher and the art teacher having sx. Right in the staff room. The art teacher had the gym teacher bent over the couch and was going to town. Not the way I wanted to start my day. But they seemed to have started it out well. Edit. Lol I didn't realize how many of you would want to know the sx of the teachers. Both are men. Edit too. Holy some of you have amazing imaginations. Not a teacher but had this happen at my school. On a school run community service trip to India some girls, 16 yo, had sx with one of the leaders, 20 yo, to get him to buy them weed. Needless to say none of them were involved with the school long after that. That seems like an unequal trade. I'm not a teacher. But my aunt is. She has spent her career working with EC kids. Apparently I'm masturbating frequently anywhere. Anytime is a thing with these kids. Particularly the ones with Down syndrome. She has many stories of kids just suddenly start beating it in class. She used to talk about this one particular girl that had DS and was constantly masturbating. They did have a punishment routine for these kids. As they are not dumb and knew right from wrong. But it didn't seem to work with her. She took this kid, 
and others, to the Special Olympics in China a few years ago and had to have a chaperone assigned to her specifically to keep her from masturbating in public during the events and anywhere else they were. She still managed to rub one out here and there from what my aunt said. EC teachers. I salute you. I'll repost my story from a different thread. Not actually NSFW. But potentially so. I just started teaching. 9th and 10th grade English. 14 years. Old Andrea had a total crush on me. From day one. She learned that I love. Read. And write poetry. And she'd show me some of her stuff. Which was actually quite good. She'd come to my room during lunch. During my planning period and show me more and more. Being super uptight about being a lone w a female student. We'd go into the hallway or library, her poems started getting more and more erotic. However. And eventually I had to tell her that. While the writing is very creative. The content is not at all appropriate to be showing your teacher. She eventually began to tone it down and started writing spiritual poetry that I can only describe as love poems to God. Think. Rumi. But the one she had me read that was obviously about me and her in a wooded cabin loving in every way possible was the most uncomfortable experience in the world. The Dean. The big boss of the school. Got arrested for owning and spreading child PRN. Edit. I currently realized it's called a principal. It was a gymnasium. Grammar school in English apparently. Comma in the Netherlands. Which means. Apart from exceptions. Students were between 12 and 18 years old. Edit 2. 0. I can't spell. Well. There was the time little Kevin told his classmate that her drawing looked like an abortion. He then proceeded to go into details when asked what that was. It's when they take a baby out of a mom's stomach and scramble it all up so it dies. Kevin was 7 at the time. I can only imagine what his home life was is like. Lewis of Kevin stories. Some kids found the typing programming teacher on Grinder. Catfished him. He sent multiple dick pics that he took on campus to the kids. Police had to get involved, 